This is Akashwani, the news read by Apugapak. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today embarked on a three-day visit to UAE and Qatar. In his departure statement, Modi said he is traveling to the United Arab Emirates on an official visit for two days from today and to Qatar on the 14th and 15th of February. The Prime Minister said it will be his seventh visit to the UAE and second visit to Qatar since 2014. Modi has said that over the last nine years, India's cooperation with UAE in diverse sectors such as trade and investment, defense and security, food and energy security, education has grown manifold and the cultural and people-to-people -people connection is stronger than ever. The Prime Minister said he is looking forward to meeting the President of UAE, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan Abu Dhabi and holding wide-ranging discussions or taking forward the comprehensive strategic partnership. He said he had the privilege of hosting Al Nayan recently in Gujarat where he was the chief guest at the vibrant Gujarat Global Summit 2024. Modi said at the invitation of the Vice President, Prime Minister and Defence Minister of UAE and Rural of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, he will address the gathering of world leaders at the World Government Summit in Dubai tomorrow. The Prime Minister said his discussions with Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid on the margins of summit will focus on strengthening the multifaceted ties with Dubai. Modi said during the visit he will also inaugurate the first Hindu Mandir in Abu Dhabi. He said the Babs Temple will be an enduring tribute to the values of harmony, peace and tolerance, which both India and the UAE share. The Prime Minister said he would address the members of the Indian community from all the Emirates of the UAE at a special event in Abu Dhabi. Modi said in Qatar he is looking forward to meeting the Amir of Sheikh Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, under whose leadership Qatar continues to witness tremendous growth and transformation. He said he is also looking forward to meeting other high dignitaries in Qatar. The Prime Minister said India and Qatar enjoy historically close and friendly relations. He said in recent years the multifaceted ties have continued to deepen in all spheres including high-level political exchanges, growing trade and investment between two countries, strengthening of the energy partnership and cooperation in culture and education. Modi said the presence of over 8 lakh strong Indian community in Doha is a testament to the India-Qatar strong people-to-people -people ties. President Draupadi Murmu shared her journey from Rai Rangpur, her birthplace in Orissa, to Rashtrapati Bhavan in an exclusive inter interaction with the Union Minister of Women and Child Development, Smriti Irani, in the concluding episode of Nai Soch Nai Kahani, a radio journey with Smriti Irani on Akashwani. The special episode was recorded at Rashtrapati Bhavan and broadcast on the occasion of World Radio Day today. The president shared a myriad of experiences beginning with her journey childhood to becoming a public figure. She fondly described the story behind her name which was given to her by her school teacher. The president delved into her educational, professional and political journey. She shared her experiences of interacting with the masses at the as the president of India. President Murmu recounted how an ordinary tribal woman like her overcame several hardships and went on to achieve her aim of serving the nation through her great dedication and determination. The president also recalled the historic day when she first arrived as at the new parliament with the Sengal being carried in front of her. She described the Sengal as the symbol of truth, satya, justice, nyaya, non-violence, ahimsa and faith, dharma. The president shared her gratitude to her government for coming up with schemes like Pradhan Mantri Janjati, Adivasi Nyaya Maha Abhiyan, PM Janman. The initiative is aimed at the welfare of the tribal population, especially the particularly vulnerable tribal groups. The president also shared her vision for a developed nation by 2047. The episode will be rebroadcast on the entire network of Akashwani Rainbow at 7 p.m. It is also available on all social media platforms of Akashwani. Union Agriculture Minister Ajun Munda has said that the government is always ready to talk with the farmers and do everything possible to find a solution to their issues. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.